mm-hmm. who is most likely to finish as the number one seed in the West. That's a tough most race. Most likely, it is a tough race, isn't it? Currently, it, between Denver yeah, and T OKC, Wolves, right? And, and, and uh, T Wolves. OKC, yep. Okay. Currently, and I'll I'll go ahead and, and list then, it off for the people as of as of right now. Uh, okay, see, um, sorry, the Timberwolves are in the number one seed at 53 and 24. Denver Nuggets are in the second seed at 53 and 24 as well. And then Oklahoma City Thunder is in the third seed at 52 and 25. So, without personally, without knowing the rest of their schedules or anything, mm-hmm. um, because that was one of those things where I was like, ah, I, I. I don't like doing that for the end of the season because, you know, some teams will sit, guys. Some teams yep. stop caring. Some, you know, like I, I'm pretty sure Minnesota, they see the Lakers. The Lakers are trying. Whereas Denver, I know they're seeing Utah and the Spurs. So it's like, you know, that does factor into it and make it a lot more fruitful for a team like Denver. But Denver, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't own the tiebreaker between those two um, mm-hmm. squads. I'm pretty sure their conference record is worse than the two. Um, so it, it it's mathematically Denver would be in that third slot. But looking at their schedule, it's like, OK, they can beat the Timberwolves. That can be their tune up game for the playoffs. You feel me? And they could say we want the number one seed and really play them because They do have them. OKC doesn't have the Timberwolves or the Nuggets to end the season. So I think that makes it gives a wide open door for the Thunder because say Denver does beat Minnesota. Now Minnesota is below Denver pretty much regardless because I think they play them the third to last game. So at that point, I I don't see Denver losing to the Spurs or Grizzlies. So they're probably going to win out. So with that being said, OKC owns the tiebreaker against Denver. So with OKC playing the Hornets, Spurs, Kings, who I, I they play the Kings pretty well, but I, I like OKC in that matchup. Then they finish with the Bucks and Mavs. I can see OKC getting that number one seed strictly because they own the tiebreaker against Denver. And I think Denver will take that matchup against Minnesota seriously. And that will be to Minnesota's demise with regard to getting that one seed. Um, but if OKC does drop a game against the Bucks, that will see Denver as the number one seed. So I think it'll be most likely OKC, but mm-hmm. if OKC drops one of these games, it's going to be Denver. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you, bro. Um, yeah. Like how you said the Timberwolves, I mean, the Nuggets don't own the tiebreaker with neither the Timberwolves nor Oklahoma City Thunder. But before I give my answer, I do think that like the Nuggets are the best team of all three though. Like uh, yeah, out of all these, for they're, sure. they're the best team, but like how we said, I think their chances are just much smaller without owning the tiebreaker. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a big believer in like life in life, like everything that you want is on the other side of like, how bad do you want it? Or how bad do you mm-hmm. need it? And I think the Oklahoma city thunder, like they really need this first seed. I think it will help Facts. them more than it will help the nuggets more than it help the, t- the Timberwolves because um, right now, Oklahoma city thunder, they have the best record in the West for home uh, for home records at 29 and 28 and the second best record in the league an the entire league for having um, the best home record. So to me, mm-hmm. it's like, those it, it looks like a little thing, but having a home court advantage, bro, like could play out and be such a huge factor into this. So I think for Oklahoma City Thunder, like they need it most. Uh, and with that, I think they're going to be able to um, inch their way up to that number one seed. They, they also need it because being at the one seed, I, if I'm not mistaken, the last two spots for the play-in are the Lakers and Warriors. Being the number one seed, that makes it that much harder for one of those two teams to see you in the first round. And I'm going to be honest, I think those are the two teams that have the best shot to eliminate OKC or Minnesota. So if Minnesota, or sorry, if uh, OKC does get that number one overall seed, off tops, they're not playing the Warriors or the Lakers because those are the bottom two. Mm -hmm. So off tops, one of those is eliminated. But now it's an even longer journey for, let's say, the Lakers do win that first playing game. It's a, it's harder for them to get against that one seed um, at that point. So I, I think that would be best for OKC because, I mean, I, I'm low-key alluding to it now, but 
I think if OKC has to see Golden State or the Lakers, it's gonna get ugly. Kind of, yeah. And quick. Like I don't, I don't know if y'all are ready for that, OKC fans. But like, y'all can very, very easily be a first round out this year, bro. Yes, yes. A, a, a one eight, my one eight loss, man. Yeah. But look, 